Okay, British minced beef pie. Um, I've got a pie tin which I've greased up with some beef dripping. You can use lard, you can use butter, use what you like. Um, and I'm just going to put in a little bit of flour in that. And then I'll swirl that about a bit and that helps the pie separate from the... That will help the pie separate from the tin. I don't want to use all that. So there you go, that sort of leaves it dusty and able to separate. Uh, you'll need, I've got just over a pound, <coughs> half a kilogram, just over a pound of uh, beef mince or ground beef. I've got, uh, I've got what amounts to about a medium sized onion. I've got an egg for glazing. I've got some short crust pastry. This is a lighter short crust pastry. And I've got about 250 mils of beef stock. That's beef and pork stock. It doesn't matter, but beef stock is important. And you've seen me use the flour already. So it's a very simple pie. Right, the, the thing we need to do now is get the filling made up. So uh, I'm taking the beef mince. This is a 20% fat beef mince. You don't want it too fatty um, and you don't want it too lean either. It needs to have some flavour in it. All right and the only other thing that we need that you don't see here are oh, salt and pepper. So it's a very simple simple affair is a, is a, is a British uh, beef mince pie. All right I've got my mince uncovered. I've got my onion chopped up really finely. I've got my egg beaten and ready to go. Tins ready and I'm bringing my saucepan up to heat. So uh, the next thing we need to do is get this uh, filling cooked off. Okay I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, my beef dripping to start it off. You can use oil or lard, it's up to you. And into the oil goes the beef. Okay, once you've got that nice and brown, in goes your onion. Stir that in. Allow that to fry just for a little longer. There's quite a lot of liquid content in this uh, beef, so uh, it's more poaching than frying. I think at this time we can put in the stock. So, lovely stock, nice brown stock. You can use a stock cube. The mistake a lot of people make when they're cooking beef mince is, is they don't they undercook it. They think oh it looks done and it's great. But beef mince is generally made from cheaper cuts so it needs a bit of cooking in order to render it down and make it nice and uh, tender. So I'm going to bring that up to the boil and simmer it for about 20 minutes. So I've turned down the heat to a simmer and I've covered it with a lid and I'm just going to simmer it off now for about 20 minutes like I said. Okay, meanwhile back on the slab I've got my pastry sheet which I'm just going to roll out here. So that's a short crust pastry. We traditionally don't use um, puff pastry on minced, on minced beef pies. What I want to do here is just make sure I've got the right size for my lid so go along there very simply and then the next thing I need to do is get that bit into my pie base and that just sits neatly in there. Lifting up the corners and feeding it in like that. Don't want to make any ruptures in the pie crust at this stage. So just take it a bit easy and do it carefully and then push it down into the mould. There you go. 
now that's prepared up I'm just going to roll up this and put that to one side for the lid while I'm at it I'm just going to trim off the excess from the outside of this and all I do is I take the knife in a downward stroke against the uh, rim of the pie dish and it's really quite simple all right so that's now ready to receive its filling um, I'm making enough filling for two mince pies but I'm only demonstrating one so for these amounts she'll be able to do two um, 13 centimeter pie tins there'll be a link in the description below to where you can get these wonderful falconware uh, enamel pie tins all right it's about 20 minutes later I'm just going to go in there and taste that see where we are with the taste that's good it's pretty close what I want to do get some cracked blackjack into it plenty of black pepper I like a lot of pepper as you can see but you season it as much as you like and it'll need only a twist or two of salt because that stock I added was rather salty anyway so I reckon that's going to be on the money now so the next thing I want to do is you see as I draw that back there's quite a lot of liquor there now that liquor you can tip some of it off and use it as gravy or what I often do is I'll turn the heat right up under that and then allow that to concentrate the flavour of that gravy into the pie filling and it also continues to cook the beef so uh, what we'll do now is we'll just evaporate off most of that until we get a nice uh, pie filling turn up the heat, lid off and let it evaporate okay that's um, concentrated down nicely there's still a bit of gravy left behind so what I want to do is I want to take this and put it through a sieve I'm using a slotted spoon and then putting it through a sieve so it's not too wet when it goes in as a pie filling and then I'll just tip the last of that through my sieve and that leaves me with that nice thin gravy and it also strains off most of the fat so that's what I end up with what little gravy I've got there is um, it's got a fair old uh, fat cap on top of it so what I'll do with that is I will um, separate the fat from the gravy and uh, use that just as a little gravy for the um, for the pie once it's served all right the next stage in the process is filling the pie with the pie filling and as you probably know from my previous videos I'm rather fond of generous pie fillings all right and onto that goes the lid stretch it over the top and then pinch it down and then go round with a fork I've done a whole playlist of um, pies and you'll see a link to that above your head now and while this is happening you need to have your oven coming up to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit once it gets to that stage I like to trim it off okay so we end up with nice looking pie like that 
just going to take a chopstick, stab it, stab and twist, and put a couple of pie holes in it, like that. The last thing we do is brush that with egg wash. Make sure you cover the whole lid. Don't don't just put it in the middle. It, it doesn't look right. You want it. You want a proper tan. And that now goes into the oven for about 25 to 35 minutes. But keep your eye on it until it browns off nicely on the top. Oh yes. Oh yes. There you go, beautiful minced beef pie. All that remains now is to show you that served up. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.